In this video, we're going to look at treating the lumbar spine erector. And what we're going to use is a fascial wax by Songbird. And we hardly use any, so what we're going to do is put one or two fingers and then apply enough to that lumbar region. So this one is more for the lumbar spine erector. We'll do the quadratus in another video. Now, what we're going to do first of all, the patient is going to do most of the movements. What I mean by that is, there are three sort of like cardinal movements with the lumbar. If we tilt anteriorly, and then we reverse that and tilt posteriorly, okay, now the erector muscle is lengthening in, and now it is shortening. That's one movement, but also relax. We're also going to induce a side bending, which would be where the patient walks up and down on the spot. And if she side bends that way, as in to the right, then the right facets are potentially in a state of closure and the facets on the left are in a state of being opened and relaxed. And the third one will be a rotation. It's difficult to rotate as she is, so we'll tend to use the knee to bend and then the patient can rock side to side. The thing is about rotation and side bending, they are coupled. So it means that when you side bend, for instance, to the left, then the vertebra will rotate to the right. It's actually called type one mechanics. Uh, but there are a type two mechanics as well. And type two simply states that if you're in non-neutral extension or non-neutral flexion, the mechanics state that side bending and rotation will be to the same side. Whereas if you're in a neutral position, i.e. where she is now, then when she side bends to the left, the vertebra will rotate to the right. Okay, let's move on. Now, three or four fingers. Find the posterior superior iliac spine. Go into the sacral sulci, where the multifidus will sit in that space area here. Get the patient to slowly tilt as far as comfortable so the muscle is hard here. Three or four fingers, as I said. Reinforce, and then the patient is going to take a breath in and slowly posterior tilt their pelvis, so bring the pelvis in reverse. Okay, good. And I'm gonna glide up through the tissues. Be careful on pressure, because if you use too much pressure to start with, you'll resist the motion from the patient. It's like saying that that's the tissue, and then they're gliding, and the fingers are just gliding through as they are rolling under the fingers. So it's like saying that your fingers don't actually move very far, it's the body is coming under as you are gliding through that. Let's show you again, so tilt again. Three fingers, apply pressure. And I'm trying, if I can, almost like to, to lunge through, rather than trying to use my shoulders and lean, I want to try to look after my own posture here. So my fingers, and I'm locking down so they are straight. When you're ready, please. And my patient is rotating the pelvis posteriorly as I'm gliding through. I'm only going to go as far as she goes. Can you tilt again, please? Take a small breath in, and off you go again. So I'm going to go as far she starts to rotate. But I don't want to go all the way up because typically the lumbar erector needs to be lengthened, but the thoracic erector needs to be shortened. So we don't really want to continue all the way up. We're just focusing on these two. There's nothing wrong with bringing my hands over and doing the same side, as in, sorry, the opposite side, rather than walking around to the, the same side as the treatment. So I can literally apply pressure here when you are ready. And it's nice and slow, nice and controlled as I'm gliding up through those tissues. Once my patient goes as far as she can, she can tilt. And again, off you go. Okay, so we can glide through. The second technique, I tend to put my middle finger together on each hand, cross over my index. So now my, I've got these four fingers that are relatively level, rather than putting my fingers, I guess, where there's a gap on the index finger. So I put my fingers like this. And what I'm going to get my patient to do is, if you just come up like this, okay, so she's going to go like that. If I'm just, I'm just going to walk around just to show you the demo from the opposite side. So my patient is going to, to come up like this. Middle finger, start low lumbar, and then as my patient lowers her leg, I'm going to glide through those tissues. Just the erector, not all the way across to the quadrators. Come back up this, breathe in. Breathe in, that's it, and breathe out. So I'm going to go across the tissues as my patient is lengthening. Good. And same again, breathe in. So I'll go start low lumbar, and then I can just slowly work up to the upper lumbar spine so I can glide through. 
Some therapists struggle with the fingers here because it feels like there's a lot of pressure. Off you go, as you breathe out. So if you find it's uncomfortable, use the heel of a hand, come back up, take a breath in, and I can glide through the tissues nice and slow. Okay, good, come back up. And again, I can also slacken the tissue in. Off you go, I can glide through that. It works very well. The third technique is rotation. I have a tendency for them to start away from me, like this. Okay, and then either the middle finger, take a breath in, slowly bring the legs towards me. So I'm gliding through nice and slow, nice and controlled. Once she goes as far as you can, I will ease off, she will ease off. Breathe in, on the out breath, glide through. If your patient has very tight quadricep, i.e. the rectus femoris, because when they bend the knees, the pelvic tilts even more, and she has an increased lordosis, then relax. Then you will struggle to place the legs in this position. You might start with the legs lower, or maybe just stick to the side bending. But in this case, this is also pretty good, because as we are drifting legs this way, this leg is internally rotated, and this leg is externally rotated. So it actually looks at mobility of the hips as well. From here, I would like to, to go into passive. So I'm using one hand, my heel, and I'm gliding through, and I, I can ease off this, and I can glide through, and I can control how much or less my patient requires as I'm gliding through. But it means I control all the speed. One MET from here, if you slowly push your, your legs into my hand, so she is pushing this way. This one is actively contracting internally, this is external. After 10 seconds, relax, breathe in. On your breath, from here, I'm gonna bring her legs towards me and I'm just gonna glide through those tissues. Okay, so we did a variation of techniques. So here, and it's a nice way of treating the lumbar spine. Just think every movement they have done, or I've done, we are moving. Okay, so it's not static, it's not isometric, it's all with motion. So where we've got a few variations of, of techniques and treatment of the lumbar spine erector muscle. Video đến đây là kết thúc. Cảm ơn các bạn đã chú ý theo dõi. Hy vọng rằng video đã cung cấp cho bạn những thông tin hữu ích. Nếu còn bất cứ thắc mắc nào, hãy ghi phía dưới phần bình luận. Chúng tôi sẽ trả lời trong thời gian sớm nhất. Cuối cùng, hãy like video, bấm vào nút đăng ký kênh và quả chuông thông báo để tiếp tục cập nhật các thông tin hữu ích khác nhé.